Welcome to the 2018 Agoura Hills State of the City Address. I'm Bill Kohler, I'm this year's mayor. This year's event is a little melancholy to me as this will be my last year as mayor and my last year on the city council as I've decided to step down at the end of the year. It's been a great ride for 13 years. I've enjoyed serving the city, interacting with our fine staff and the public. The public has been more than inspirational in assisting the city council to make this a better place to live. The events of this year will be shared with you on a video that I had the pleasure of assisting and helping put together. I hope you enjoy it as it'll highlight a number of the events and activities that took place in our community in this past year. So sit back, relax, and thank you very much for attending this year's event. I was fortunate enough to solicit the help of Las Virginis School Superintendent Dan Stepnowski, the Oak Park School District Superintendent, uh, Ventura County Supervisor Linda Parks, our city staff, including our city manager, Greg Ramirez, in trying to craft some plan to alleviate the traffic along Canaan Road. And with the help of Caltrans, we've been able to um, enhance the signalization and the sequence uh, which has helped um, alleviate some of the traffic during the rush hours. And I look forward to this um, being an ongoing meeting into the new year and hope next year's mayor will continue the good fight in helping to relieve the traffic along Canaan Road. The next project we tackled this year was the final plans for the remake of the Palo Camado Bridge. This is a bridge that was constructed in the early 1960s. This will be unique. It will have a very different look. It will identify um, our roots, particularly Old Agora, and I'm happy to and excited to show this to you. I want to welcome you to Old Agora Park. Uh, we're here this morning to dedicate the pedestrian horse bridge across the creek connecting the uh, horse arena area of Old Agora to the uh, park and the play area and um, also provide um, disabled pedestrian access to the park. Um, it's a wonderful addition, addition to the community and um, I hope everybody will enjoy the addition and the effort that was put in bringing this to you. Each year we like to showcase the young talent in our community, and this year was no different. We hosted an art show that took place at our event center, and if you weren't lucky enough to attend, you missed a great event. It always amazes me the talent in these young students from ceramics to watercolors to oils. These were students of all age groups to the entire Caneo Valley. The City Council is always mindful of the fact we live in a high fire area. For that reason, we are always proud and honored to acknowledge our first responders, our LA County Sheriff's Department, our LA County Fire Department. This year's event took place on Kenwood Street at Fire Station 89, where we had an opportunity to thank the people that keep us safe. Last, but certainly not least, was an event that was inspired by our teen coalition, and I want to take the opportunity to thank them for their thoughtfulness. This event took place at the Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks, and was attended not only by several hundred children who were happy, more than happy, to receive a backpack, 
but the LA Rams were kind enough to provide us their mascot, several lovely cheerleaders, and a number of their staff to make this event sparkle. I'm Jill Letterer, CEO of the Greater Conejo Valley Chamber of Commerce, and we are the official Chamber of Commerce for the city of Agoura Hills, and we are so proud of that. Retail, the economy, tech, everything is strong here in Agoura Hills. It's such a great time. Companies like Zebra, like Penny Mac, like Ram the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams have chosen Agoura Hills as their home. And they choose it because of businesses like Uncle Apps, Cafe Bizu, Sole Soups, um, Twisted Oak Tavern, um, our, our burgeoning food and winery scene here, breweries. Um, that's what companies like that are looking for for the quality of life for their team members. Great developers uh, like Caruso, like Selleck, like Westfield, they are all about the shopping and customer experience now. They incorporate water features, great seating areas. It's not simply about the product purchase. So there, there's going to be a real synergy there between more traditional bricks and mortar, um, becoming more experiential, and companies that are big and only online now um, coming, into, coming more into the community. Communities. We are so excited to welcome new businesses to the community like Westlake Financial Services. They bring terrific jobs. We very much look forward to partnering with them and um, doing business with them in the community for a long time to come. This evening we're on the grounds of our historic Adobe where we hold our Night at the Adobe event each year. This is an integral part of our four-day celebration that we call Reyes de Adobe Days. It starts with Thursday's senior luncheon and concludes Sunday with activities and music in the park. And I can't think of a better way to conclude this year's State of the City Address than to share some great food, entertainment with my friends and neighbors. So on behalf of myself and the City Council, I want to thank you for attending today's luncheon put on by the Greater Caneo Chamber of Commerce, who I want to thank for that, and was fun sharing with you the events that took place here in Agora Hills this year. Well, as they say, that's a wrap. Thanks for attending.